So I got a random airsoft unboxing. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what I ordered, but I figured I'd unbox it on camera in case for some reason it's something I want to do a review on. Again, like I said, I'm not really sure what's in here. So if I'm posting this, that's because I have something of value, I guess. Let's see. What is this? From JK Army, I know that because of the tape. <laughs> Oh shit, I remember ordering this. This is an oil filter suppressor, tracer ready. I don't know if it came with a tracer or if you have to put a tracer not included, damn. Fit for a tracer unit with diameter, so-and-so, bifrost. I wonder if, I have a little tracer unit. I wonder if it'll fit in here. I think this was a custom project that they did and only sold a limited amount of these. I could be wrong. So typical uh, JK Army, you get a patch if you spend a certain amount of money. You also get like some RJ Creations. I'm assuming that's whoever made this, the RJ Creation stickers, cool. And the oil filter suppressor, that's crazy. Look at that. So actually um, got some decent quality, it looks like to it. The uh, lighting inside was mediocre at best. So I wanted to take it outside where we got some better lighting and kind of show you how this all works. Right now you've got a ton of pieces rattling on the inside of this guy. If you unscrew the back end, okay, cool. If you unscrew the back end, it comes with a bunch of these pieces. Two CNC rings and one fatter ring with a uh, big like concave on the inside. This concave is for your tracer units to sit inside like this. Now, the rings, if you wanted to take one of the rings away, or none of the rings, depending on the size of your tracer, and just run this guy to the end of the oil filter, and it would sit like that. Uh, I can't get my finger in there, it's not long enough. It would sit like that. But for today, we're gonna have to use both of the rings we can get that in there. Another one. Then this chunkier ring on top. Make sure you apply pressure and it's sitting through the hole. The tracer unit right on the inside. Make sure it's lined up nice and straight. And then a downwards facing position. You want to get the tracer unit into that disc. Bingo. Now carefully tighten it down. Gets nice and snug. I recommend just hand tightening it. Nothing more, nothing less. And nothing on the inside should be rattling around. And right down the center, you should be able to see the exit hole. Nice and straight. One thing that I have noticed is the end of your pistols or your rifles are going to be 14 millimeter counterclockwise. The end of the uh, oil can filter connects to this thread is clockwise. So you're gonna wanna hold it from here when you tighten it on. Let me fill this guy up. So let's uh, make sure this guy's in semi. I'll go to a fire test. Now, if your eyes have been closed the whole time, you could tell it's daytime. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to provide you with a nighttime test, but let's give it a shot, see how it shoots. You cannot see the iron sights. <laughs> That's okay. Before we wreck things up, I just wanted to take the oil filter suppressor and throw it on the KCO2 so you could see what it looks like on a different rifle. Overall, my only complaint about this guy is that you have to take it apart entirely in order to turn on and off the tracer unit. 
Again, that's what, once a game, because most tracer units turn off on their own. Now, if they don't feel any rattling or movement, so be it if that's the worst problem. It's fantastic. I think it's extremely high quality. It feels extremely strong. Uh, I love how there's no plastic parts. It's all machined aluminum or steel or whatever it is. This is my short build KCO2. I actually ordered this off of the heavy recoil discord from someone. And then I threw the rail and the sight on. Is that not ridiculous? He said, how stubby that is. This thing is like the size of my forearm. This oil filter suppressor tracer unit thing from uh, JK Army is fantastic. I definitely recommend it. I was going to just build it myself. I then saw that they had one that accommodated for a tracer unit. And I was like, well, yep, throwing that down the drain. Obviously, it's airsoft, so suppressing things doesn't really matter. You can't really suppress anything unless it's a non-blowback gas gun. Yeah, overall review. It's a great piece of kit. It cost, I think, I want to say $76. So it's a little bit pricey, but if you're willing to dish out the money, I definitely recommend picking up one of these. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, let me know.